one recording. Woo! Hello. Welcome to the weekly mobile support meeting for Mozilla, where we talk about Firefox for Android support and Firefox OS support for 30 minutes or 27 today because we're running a little late. Thanks, Roland, for uh, the video and uh, for the contributors who set up the Etherpad. I always appreciate this very much. And um, it looks like previous action items are, and this is a great one, is if you've given any thoughts since we talked last week about the mobile badges that um, you would like to receive. We talked at the summit of uh, quite a bit about badges in Santa Clara. I don't know if you guys in Toronto or Brussels talked about badges, but we did hear, I heard some pretty strong feedback about badges with numbers of things that you've done, like number of bugs that you fixed. But this, we could also do this like uh, numeric badges for, you know, form questions answered for the mobile products, um, help articles written or edited uh, for mobile products, that sort of thing. Uh, so those are my ideas. What ideas do you guys have for mobile badges that you want? Madeline, did you hear other things? For mobile? Um, or something that we could apply to mobile that we heard? Yeah, I guess like everything that we well we apply to all the other products could be applied to mobile so we can have like specific badges for mobile i know a lot of people would like to have separated badges per products so that people can see what product they're contributing to yeah so we can just start with a mobile badge yeah we can start with a mobile badge and then we can we can expand from there and we can have for mobile questions for mobile kb um so I had an idea for yeah. mobile. Sumo Launch Team, Brazil, Sumo Launch Team, Colombia, Sumo Launch Team. All the countries we've uh, launched in and will be launching in, any Sumo contributor, I will give them a badge because they've actually helped with the launch in terms of localization, showing up at the store, whatever. Hermina, Ralph, Rosanna, Madalena. Michelle can give me the names and we can manually issue those badges once we get them designed. What do you think? Like launch team, because people like the launch team. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love it because that's it's been really, really challenging too. I mean, it's been extremely taxing. So I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So I was just thinking sumo launch team with the flags for each country from wave one and wave two and wave three and wave whatever. We could also do the relaunch of Firefox for Android too. Um, uh, from okay. last year. Yes, retroactive badges are highly encouraged too. One of the, one of the ideas that we discussed in in Toronto was more, more around uh, like ways to drive contribution rather than being active badges. So like uh, yeah. you know a bunch of activities uh, that people can do in order to get the badge. Um, so kind of like the numbered badges that you were talking about, Michelle, like, you know, answer 10 questions on the forums or edit 10 articles and create a, you know, create a small set of tasks that people can do in order to drive up to a bigger badge. So like, uh, you know, doing those three or four activities creates a, you know, a sumo, a bronze sumo contributor badge. Uh, and then create another type of activities that kind of drives that uh, contribution forward. So like you do a tier of, you do these 10 things and, and this gets you the bronze badge. If you up your level to, you know, 100, you get the silver badge. And if you do 500, you get the gold badge. So ways to, to kind of drive interest in, in contribution rather than uh, you know, going back, I think the retroactive badges are awesome, but, um, you know, I think we should start thinking about how do we drive contribution going forward. So it should be noted that the automatic badges we awarded on September 30th, uh, the 2013, is not retroactive. It's for anybody this year who's already contributed and anybody, we still have three months left. 
So if you do your 10 contributions, and those are numerically derived, mm -hmm. and each of the badges is numerically derived for all four areas. So if you're starting from zero today, that's a great place to start because you can still sure. get a 2013 Sumo badge for KB, for L10N, for Forum, and for Army of Awesome. So if anyone is listening to this, the contributions and are well defined. We're going to have that for 2014 as, as well, right? And we will have them for 2014. But I totally agree with you, Patrick. Um, we need to brainstorm as a community. So, what are the gold, silver, and bronze? We do have that. Uh, Yvonne Boyley, when we was when when he designed the badges, had that idea in mind. So mm -hmm. we could add a gold star, a silver star, and a bronze star. There's place for that in the badge. So if we can figure out a way of doing that. And I think we should figure that out with the community. Then let's do that. Yeah, so and that, I and I think it's also a great uh, advertisement for contribution to put on the the sumo page as well. Like you know, here's how you get involved. But then here's the here's the badges that you can earn as well down at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. You mean on our? Oh, I'm like on our. Um... Like the call to action page. Oh, like, get involved. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I, it sounds like I need to blog about what the numerical targets are for the four existing badges for 2013. And, yeah, and that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And another thing that might be really cool, because you know, like starting with, with Wave 2, and from now on, it's all about scaling and all about being able to help customers at scale. I was thinking that maybe we can have different pages for like telling things like I helped this amount of users, I have this amount of users, and and that should be different colors, you know, to 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 every badge, and just think about it like like this. For example, to those ones writing articles on the knowledge base, we can look at the number of persons finding it, uh, this article helpful, you know, and we can like somehow split it like this or for forums. It's just an idea, but we can brainstorm about it. Definitely. Yeah. Um, someone yeah. give me an app item to blog about the existing numerical targets and to create an ether pad for brainstorming about the great ideas that we just talked about. Great. Yeah, I like that. I like that getting people to think about scale, Hermina. Okay. Um, cool. Such an exciting topic, Beth. We could spend all 30 minutes on this, I'm sure. Um, it's great to have them. So let's see. The QA update for B2G this week is in the Etherpad. I don't think uh, Naoki is on the call, but he put his notes in there with a couple of links to the roadmap to what's going on in 1.2. Engineering is often running on 1.2 and also 1.3, I think, at the same time. Um, he's got a link to the major release, uh, the crashers from the crash kill logs. Uh, so we should take a look at those uh, when, as we prepare for 1.2. Um, in our future, no notes on Firefox for Android. Any comments or questions about this? Ah, did I oh, I have a question. So can I update my Keon and my Mobistar to 1.2 today? Um, your Keon, I think it's available for your Geeks phone, but that's it. OK. And remember, that's a, Geeks phone's sort of rolling their own. So it will be slightly different from commercial. The, what's running on the commercial devices eventually could be you know, somewhat different for sure. Not a lot, but. There will be differences. Yeah, Roland, I've been working on um, trying to flash my Alcatel using the instructions that are on MDN. Uh, yep. I have a few problems that I need to resolve with my machine, um, which hopefully I'll be able to do tomorrow while I'm at the hub with uh, some techier people than me. Uh, but I'll let you know how that goes and. Uh, uh, maybe you can use those instructions to flash your ZT. Yeah, well. yeah, you let me know and I'll do it. Sure, that'd be great. Cool. I will do the same. I'll try to do the same with this, the ZT open from eBay, which is the one that, you know, 
people could potentially um, use Fastboot to update. And we have a couple people on the forums who said that they're doing it, which is cool. Um, but the overwhelming message I got at the summit was just get people writing apps for the code that we have, for the commercial code that, that we're shipping. Uh, so if people ask you, tell them that first, and then talk to them about <laughs> flashing maybe. Um, OK, so other stories from the summit that you guys want to share about the awesome Sumo contributors that you met? I think we had um, 23 Sumo um, core contributors at, in Santa Clara. You guys want to talk about um, Madalena sent out some, some notes on um, we had a little post-mortem talk yesterday and I think we're all very energized by uh, the group that we had it was amazing to meet everyone for me because I hadn't met the Asian community yet but Madalena had met most of them already so for her it was a second touch to get a little deeper um, with them on their sumo contributions and how we we really talked a lot about what we can do to make things better for them and we were I think surprised that we you know um, that we heard a lot of positive things. We didn't hear a lot of things about tools this year. Yeah, was one of the Yay. yeah. So that was cool. How about um, uh, did I summarize that okay? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was super exciting to see how everybody was super excited. I yeah. think that was like the best thing for all of us. Uh, we met a lot of people. Asian contributors are very engaged. Uh, Small, uh, most of them. I mean, from any each and every country, you have like at least one or two people who are engaged in small. So that's great. Uh, we had some really, really cool feedback um, about things that we can improve. Uh, and yeah, it was great that this time was not about localization tools. Well, we still have to do stuff on the score for that's it never ends. It never ends, yeah. But I mean, um, at least some part of Sumo is fixed. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Thank you, Ricky. Yeah. Thank you guys for defining those tools with Ricky and Kadir. Yay, yeah. Ricky. Um, yeah, and I would love to hear from, like, what were the sessions uh, in other places and how did that go? Uh, what kind of feedback did you guys get and so on and so forth? That would be very interesting. Uh, one thing that I'd like to mention, and it's, uh, it, it stuck with me, was that uh, I heard a couple of times that contributors would like uh, would like webinars, you know, would like to to see or to be able to create webinars on different topics. And another thing is that they really appreciate it. It seems that it seems that uh, Michael created a, a short video and uh, in a local language, a certain point, and they really appreciated this, and they felt very you know, integrated and uh, and they felt really, really nice about it. So um, I, I kind of like had repetitive feedback on this and I was thinking that maybe we, we have give it a, a thought, you know, and we, we have to, to think about it more. Because we kind of, we knew that webinars could be a nice add-on to have, but we focused more, like much more on text uh, than on video. So maybe we want starting to, to want or I don't know, Q4, if we have time or Q1 to, to think about this more. So these are training for how to do support or? No. no. Oh, no. How to do support. There are trainings, like product trainings, you know, trainings on different issues. For example, how to make a call using by using your Firefox OS phone or how to, you know, simple things, how to. And like really short, uh, really short videos. But it seems we got this request. For me, from my previous experience, it wasn't something that really could scale because, like, people, you know, usually they're very busy and they don't spend time watching these videos. But what I learned in this summit is that uh, Firefox contributors are very, very passionate about it and they really like the product and they really, you know, allocate time to it. So maybe we want to, to think about it and make a trial if we want. Oh, yes. Right. That would be interesting. This is like training for users, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, and in the usability studies that we've done for mobile that UX has conducted, I always ask them at some point, ask them 
when they find something they didn't know how to do, how would they figure it out? And in the studies in the US, for sure, everybody always says YouTube, first thing they say, YouTube. Yep. That's how I find out how to do things. I go to YouTube and I watch a video. Um, so for, for mature markets, I think it's spot on. I, we, we, we need those little videos. I agree completely. So I'm glad other people you talked to thought of that. How about, um, thank you, Hermina. How about Toronto? What did you guys hear from Sumo contributors that they need or that they want to do? Um, uh, so we still haven't had a chance to do a post-mortem yet. Uh, Matt led the session and he ended up taking all the post-it notes with him. Ah! He left, uh, so um, I haven't had a chance I, to sync up with him. Uh, but one of the one of the things that really sticks out in my mind about the summit was meeting Einard uh, Joshua, who's from New York. Uh, he's a, a young kid just starting college and like a very engaged contributor, doing a lot of stuff uh, within Sumo. But also, uh, I don't know if you guys had the the uh, thing during the fair, the APC. Uh, I don't know if you guys ran into this. Uh, it's a small. You can hook it up to your TV, uh, but he's been working with a group of people porting Firefox OS over to that that it runs oh. on Android. Um, so it's a really cool little PC that you can hook up to your TV and get you know, attach a keyboard and mouse and. Oh, did Pete mention it really in all cool his implementation of yes. Firefox OS? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, and then uh, he, uh, Einerd is actually working on a app for the uh, for the marketplace uh, that is Go a file Einerd. manager, a uh, file manager for Firefox OS. So I think that's been something that's been requested for quite a while, but uh, with the ad, this APC thing, uh, it uh, shines a light even more on the need for a file manager. So, uh, just want to call out Einerd and the good work that he's doing for Firefox OS. That's awesome. Um, is he working on the app called Explorer? That's a we do have one type of file manager in the marketplace. Uh, I so don't know. Matt said it's a different one. Um, I looked at that one. Explorer and. Uh, and Matt said that supposedly uh, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot better than uh, than this one. So we have hey. something very awesome to look to. Sweet, so yeah. Explorer is awesome because it's all we have. <laughs> he's a, he's also uh, working on. He's been working with a team that's been uh, developing a Notepad. Uh, I think it's called Fire Text. Uh, in the App Store, it's in beta. So check that out as well. So um, I would just like to underscore that this is um, an experiment, Firefox OS on this awesome computer. Um, but I think this is the future. Like really, like back Windows and Linux, it's over. It's just a matter of time. It's not a. It's not an. It's not a what if. It's a when. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Space stations. I know. <laughs> uh, Ralph, go ahead. Tell us your story. Um, so yeah, I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was really amazing. The, the entire summit, uh, seeing everybody and seeing, the, seeing that it, this is all actual, actual real people from all over the world. Uh, <laughs> I was so passionate about that. It was, it was surreal and so impressive. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, summer set, the summer session, um, like, like Patrick said, it was, uh, um, it was pretty good. We, we talked about some things. And, uh, I, I took some notes on the Etherpad. Uh, so we had, uh, I was taking some notes and I nerd was taking a whole bunch of post-it notes also, uh, and Matt has the post-it notes, so, uh, but I have some interim notes and I posted it on the, on the ether pad. Uh, okay, great. Um, awesome. All right, well, let's, yeah, I mean, I, I um, wrote down some of the things specifically for mobile getting people devices came up for us. It's something I want to work hard on. Hermina, we should talk about it and some ways to help get people devices in country to work, work with our partners to get and encourage that more. Um, 
and um, and communication channels. We also talked about people need a greater connection to us at Sumo, and um, so there there's some ways that we talked about we can reach out to the local communities who are doing support and stay connected with them and give them you know uh, more context than just their locale leader or their mobilizer leader who is you know, always extremely busy, not only with some sumo stuff, but with engagement too. So just spreading around the context a little bit. Um, Wait, so sorry. in, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Michelle, by the way, I, I just wanted to, to use this meeting from now on, you know, when like, since I started with the, with the asking contributors, whoever wants to, to, to work together with me and draw from the training, uh, now I, I just want to, to let them know, whoever will listen to this, that I've been uh, in, um, in, in contact with Telenor. So uh, Telenor already announced that they will, uh, they will launch with, uh, with us in Hungary and Serbia, as you, as you probably know. So I've been in contact with them and they requested the training from, uh, from us, a product training, training on Firefox OS, which I, I'd be more than, uh, than delighted to, to, to provide to them. Uh, we didn't set up a date yet. It should be end of October probably uh, for for the training. And I would like to to involve whoever is interested in attending this training. Like whoever is a contributor in Hungary or in Serbia, I'd be more than happy to involve him or her or them and work with them and go together and present and uh, and get everybody's you know uh, passion and thoughts on uh, in the training itself. So. Let me know. I've already gave you my email address. I'll put it again in the etherpad and just drop me an email and we'll we'll set up something. Or Madalina, of course, because she's you know in charge of the community in, in Hungary and Serbia and she already knows this. It's just that I announced it. So yeah. I can also reach to people in case they don't see this and tell them about it. Okay, and from now on I don't know uh, if it's possible for you to, to come to this meeting. It would be very nice because I'd like to, to, to let you know about this type of things through this meeting, uh, through this meeting only, and I'd like you to, to find about them. Great. Thank you. Yes, the, um, the, the Wave 2 set of launches that are coming, they were blogged about um, last night. So I added the two uh, links. One blog is about our partnerships and when um, 1.1 that 1.1 is coming. We don't have exact dates, um, but it's a great read. And then there is a, a link in there to a specific list of all the new features that people find in 1.1. And um, oh, WhatsApp. Ralph, is this yours? You want to give this WhatsApp update? Because it's not in the blog post. And it was, I'm sure when all of you read it, you thought, and what about? So tell us. Uh, so yeah, I just, uh, I just saw this post yesterday. Um, and I'm not sure. I, I haven't heard any, any other announcements. And, uh, and I'm not sure how official this blog post is. Um, so I, I'm posting it, showing it. Just, just to say, but basically it says that uh, WhatsApp uh, is going to be, uh, they plan on releasing it uh, before the end of the year for Firefox OS. Uh, ah, this was mentioned at the summit. Thank you for this link because we heard about this, but I hadn't actually seen it. Woo! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if, yeah, if, um, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't heard about it before, but if this is uh, something, something official, then uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome because I don't know, but we can ask. Yeah. I'll ask around if we if this is. I mean, we obviously haven't announced anything, but mm -hmm. but we can ask around the um, engagement team to see what their thoughts are on this particular site and if it's trustworthy. But thank you, thanks for that. Thank you. It was just something I saw last night, and I almost fell over the chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Success! Yay! Only an hour. Okay, no new feedback. Um, custom ringtones moving forward. That's great stuff. Um, I think the main thing I'm seeing this week is just, you know, when when are the updates coming? But also, I'm still seeing some posts about SMS. I posted back to a couple of messages about 
SMS. I have like one in input and then one on the Mozilla Hispano forum. Um, so, so we should check in. I know Patrick, you were looking at an SMS post that was on the Polish forum. So, um, let me know if you guys have updates on those on the SMS front. Um, I asked, and I'll let you know what I find out. I asked back if people were able to get the updates and and install them that were supposed to fix this at least on um, Alcatel. Okay, hey, Firefox. Two minutes. Yes, go Firefox for Android Go. But we started three minutes late, so if you need five, you can have it. I don't need five. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I so uh, Michael and I are finishing the articles. I am going to ask Swarnalva for help because he now has a Jelly Bean device. Sweet. Swarnalva, if you're listening to this, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys holding you up at the dance, I will never forget that. <laughs> Santa Clara. Uh, I'll never forget you. meeting you uh, and the rest of the Asians. I have to admit the Filipinos are awesome too as well as the Chinese and the Indonesians. Those Indonesians had the best swag. So yes, so Firefox for 25 articles in English will be finished this week. Firefox for Android 26 research is coming up. I, I did a rough etherpad, not much, but please, if you have time, Swarnava or whoever, double check my uh, draft, my draft scratchings in the uh, etherpad that's linked there. Uh, and uh, if there's anybody else who I missed with a device at the summit, my, my apologies, but I, I, I can get you an Android device, just let me know. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, shipping willing and Mozilla willing, but if it was up to me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to figure out this device shipping thing. Um, and it's going to get easier uh, yep. as, as we launch more and more countries will have access. I mean, having four, only four countries with devices is <laughs> made it hard. Um, but yes, thanks to everyone who joined and took time to come to the summit and party with all of us. It was an amazing experience. Um, add your notes here to this etherpad or come join us next week to talk more about mobile support. Thanks all for joining this week and uh, for, for everyone's hard work answering questions for Android and Firefox OS. Ciao, tschüss. I don't know how to say it. Sorry, uh, so I'm out. You need to learn Bengali. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>